Okay, we're back here at the range, and I got a couple big, hefty, laminated, fireproof safety glass samples here. And I figured we'd fire a couple 55 grain full metal jacket 5.56 five, rounds into both of these and see what happens. Now these are some hefty pieces of glass. That one's got to be about two inches thick, and it's all these sheets laminated together. This one's maybe maybe an inch and a half. But I think it should be pretty interesting to shoot these guys. So let's run on back to my direct impingement PMAG adapter and see what happens. We'll be shooting at th roughly 30 meters. Who knows, maybe I'll just make a giant mess. All right, we got that sheet of safety glass set up out there. Let's see what happens when we blast it with a 5.56 round. Okay, well my hypothesis that this would at all stop a 5.56 was totally shot. Ah. <laughs> Check this out. You can hear the crinkling in the glass. It is just all spiderweb to heck. Oh man. All right, well hey, let's set up the two inch thick piece and see if we get any different results. Okay, for this shot, I'm putting my camera in a little bit of jeopardy here, but I think this could be some pretty cool footage. So I'm gonna run on back and blast this guy and see what the heck happens. This should be some cool stuff to catch on film. Woo! All right, well that was pretty awesome. <laughs> look at that. Oh my God, look at the crater in this. I don't even know if I could pick it up without it falling apart into a thousand pieces. Oh, oh, yep, that is fragile. Wow. <laughs> oh boy, check that out. That was pretty cool. All right, well, fireproof safety glass, no matter how thick it seems to be, is not adequate protection against 556. Five, Thanks for watching.